Hi, good day. Welcome to Phil Korean TV Math Corner. In this video, we will tackle identifying prime and composite numbers. First, let us know the meaning of prime number and composite number. Prime number is a number with only two factors, one and itself. Ang prime number ay meron lamang dalawang factors, ang one at yung number mismo. Wala nang ibang factors. Examples, two, three, five, seven, and eleven. These numbers are prime numbers. They have only two factors. Meron lamang silang dalawang factors. Ang factors ng 2 ay 1 and 2. 1 times 2 equals 2. 1 times 2 equals 2. Wala nang ibang numbers na pwede nating i-multiply na yung answer ay 2. Eto lang talaga. Kaya siya tinawag na prime number. Eto namang 3. Ang factors naman ng 3 ay 1 and 3. Eto lang yung dalawang numbers na pag i-times natin, yung answer ay 3. 1 times 3 equals 3. Wala na talagang ibang number na pwedeng i-multiply para maging 3. Yan ang prime number. Dalawa lang talaga yung factors. Dalawa lang yung number na pwedeng i-multiply at yung answer ay yung given number. Ayan, eto. So, meron lamang sila two factors. Okay. Ang two, three, five, seven, at eleven, meron lamang dalawang factors. One at yung number mismo. ba? Kung ano yung number, yun ang isang factor. At ang pangalawang factor ay one. Wala nang ibang factor ang prime number maliban sa 1 at yung number mismo. Ngayon, alamin naman natin ang composite number. Composite number is a number with 3 or more factors. Ang composite number ay number na merong tatlo o higit pang factors. Examples, 4, 6, 15, 18 and 20. These numbers have more than two factors. Okay, tingnan natin yung factors ng 4. Ano yung numbers na kapag i-multiply natin, magiging 4. Okay, 1 times 4 equals 4. Meron na siyang dalawang factors. Next, meron din ito ng factor na 2. Okay, 2 times 2 equals 4. Ang 4 ay may tatlong factors. 1, 4, and 2. Ang number kapag inulit, isa lang yung bilang niya na factor. Kaya yung 4 may tatlong factors. Ang 6 naman, yung factors ng 6, ang numbers na kapag times natin ay magiging 6 ay 1 times 6. 1 times 6 equals 6. And 2 times 3. Diba? 2 times 3 equals 6. So, ang 6 merong apat na factors. 4 factors. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 factors. Ang 15 naman, ang factors ng 15 ay meron siyang factor na 1 at 15. Diba? 1 times 15 equals 15. Meron din siyang factors na 3 and 5. 3 times 5 equals 15. So, meron din apat na factors ang 15. Yung factors naman ng 18 ay 1 and 18. Meron din itong 2 and 9. 
meron din itong factors na 3 and 6. Diba? 1 times 18 equals 18. 2 times 9 equals 18. 3 times 6 equals 18. Ang 18 ay merong 6 factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Eto namang 20. Ang factors ng 20 ay 1 and 20. 1 times 20 equals 20. Then, Meron ditong factor na 2 and 10. Meron din itong factors na 4 and 5. Okay, eto yung factors ng 20. 1 times 20 equals 20. 2 times 10 equals 20. 4 times 5 equals 20. Ang 20 ay meron din... 6 factors. Ayan. So, eto yung ibig sabihin ng composite numbers. Ang composite numbers ay merong tatlo pataas na factors. Yung tips ko sa inyo, all numbers ending in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 are composite numbers except 2. Lahat ng numbers na nagtatapos sa 0, 2, 4, 6, at 8 ay composite numbers. Maliban lamang sa 2. 2 is the only even number which is a prime number and the smallest prime number. 0 and 1 are not prime numbers or composite numbers. They are special numbers. Another tip, all numbers ending in 5 except 5 are composite numbers. Lahat ng numbers na nagtatapos sa 5, maliban sa 5, ay composite numbers. At kung alam ninyo yung divisibility rules from 2 to 10, mas makakatulong ito sa inyo para ma-identify ninyo kung ang number ay prime number or composite number.